Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Aether 1 for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. So this is going to be the original Aether experience uh, on Minecraft, and with multi-MC it's not very hard at all. The hardest part is getting the files and locating the files. And we are going to also add single player commands, uh, which you have to do some very special things to make that work with player API, which is required. Okay, but I'm gonna show you clean sites as much as I can, but let me show you, uh, first of all, that we definitely have it and it launches and it's not a problem. It's pretty cool going back to this nostalgic version of the original Aether. So, there we go, we get our little tips in the beginning and we have our new interface, loud sounds, I can set some options for the sounds there uh, and it gives you a whole new browser so single player there's a new world and there's the portal that you make surrounded with glowstone pour a water bucket in the middle get your books stuff for it the floor all that now I have single player commands so I can just uh, hit the tab and choose fly Makes it a whole lot easier. And there we go. So here we are in the Aether. So quite nice. Firing snowballs at me. Anyway, I'm not going to play. Uh, but I want to show you how to install it. And you can see I do have a uh, raised mini map. Get away from the portal. Okay, and then I can just toggle fly off. All right, cool guys. That's that works good. So let me show you how to do it. All right, now. What we want to do is there is this site called mcarchive.net and it's a pretty clean site. You can uh, get it on GitHub to fork the interface and stuff like that and it'll show you the met metadata where you can get checksums on all the files and stuff to be sure they're all good. Um, so this is gets you most of the files that you need from this one site. The most important one, well not the most important, but a one that is difficult to get and you have to get the version just right is you need to get shock api version 1.5.1 okay or 5.1 yeah not 1.5 5.1 you need this one right here version 5.1 for and when you download it um, i've noticed that sometimes the downloads are like slower and there's you know, you may have to do it a couple times, but you will be able to get it from there. All right, I've verified all these download links as of this video. Uh, so there's your Shock API. Uh, there's the Aether 2, but you need one. Uh, here's Portal Gun, if you want it. Um, let's see, there's the Mod Loader you'll need, but it takes you just basically to the regular Mod Loader page, to the forum post. Uh, there are Minecraft forum and you can get it from there uh, there's links available for the mod loader that you'll need from there just get the one for beta 173 uh, here's the original Aether right here and so you can get it right there uh, it's version 1.0.2 okay we'll need that I couldn't get equivalent exchange to work along with um, my patches even the Forge version, I'll continue to work with that because I would like to have it, but I just haven't got it to work yet uh, with my mix of mods. Here's a Ray's mini map. We're good on that. If you needed to get the equivalent exchange, it's right here. Uh, once again, because this version they have is the non-Forge version and it requires item sprite API, it does not work. There is a Forge version and I have found a the forge installer but it still conflicts with stuff okay then you'll also need the audio mod you can get it there um 
and that's pretty much it forge you do not need uh, unless you're you can have forge if you're going to try to do equivalent exchange but again I, I never did get that to work yet okay so here we go basically you just download all of those files that were listed by the way if you uh, want to remember whoops if you want to remember it will tell you in the either one here what the requirements are okay so it tells you right there it says that it needs mod loader audio mod shock api 5.1 and player api I, I think i forgot to mention that but you do need player api as well okay player api is the one that conflicts so basically we just have all of these downloaded here now i'm going to give you another link that uh is for this single player's command patch okay it is a patch and it allows you to have single player commands and player api working together okay and that's great so it's got it goes all the way up to minecraft version 1.5.1 i think or maybe even 1.6 i'm not sure but we don't care about that we want to get it for beta right here beta 1.7 so you can download that right there for mediafire and i'll provide the link uh, 1.5.2 is where it goes to um and then that will then you have to put them in this very specific order okay for them to work so it has to be minecraft then single player commands now notice that's above mod loader even single player commands then player api then mod loader then the patch this one's the patch file then audio mod shock api either and too many items so let me just click up there and leave this on the screen for just a moment so you could definitely see the order and i will zoom in in fact so we can see the order closely that's the order that everything needs to be in for it to work okay and um, that's that's good then the only other thing i have added to the loaders folder is is you could put your portal gun in there your raise mini map in there okay and then these two are folders that are created so i do as my total pack includes raise mini map portal gun um single player commands and the aether and too many items okay and then too many items you can get from the forum post here i'll leave that in the link and it's on the minecraft forum and so you could download it here's the all the old downloads right here and it works okay so the only big problem that you have left then is getting the sounds for minecraft currently uh in minecraft there's a problem it has been for a while i don't know if they'll ever fix it but these old versions and even recent versions it's like from 1.5 down maybe even 1.6 that you cannot get the sounds for it they, they are not being pulled down uh they've changed the permissions on the amazon bucket where they're installed and it doesn't pull them down so you need to get those as a um uh, a resource pack download if you don't have them not necessarily a resource pack because they they didn't exist before them but resource folders somebody that uploaded their resource folder uh, if you don't already have a beta 1.3 so a, a clean one that i know of is from the multi mc guy here uh, and i'll leave a link to this post here in case something changes or whatever uh, and you can get it from this guy it's on mega upload right here and uh you can get it from there and that that's a clean install so you don't have to worry about that um and that will get your audio so once you've downloaded the resource packs what you want to do is pull it into your downloads and then here it is this is the file that you get beta 1.7 resources original and then when you decompress it it'll be this resources here so just take all of those and copy them um, Go to your instance that you have, right click on it and choose instance folder and it'll open it. And then you just get your dot Minecraft folder. Uh, I'm on Mac, so it acts as a hidden folder because it has a dot in front of it, but you just right click it and get open a new tab. And then you just go to your resources inside of here and then paste that. 
okay the actual ones that you need are in new sound that that's where they need to go uh, but once you po paste that resource folder then you should have everything that you need right here and so then that will restore your sound uh, do do that before you do the Aether patch because the Aether itself requires uh, that you have some sounds. So in the Aether uh, download, let's see where I have that. Let me back up a minute. Uh, let me go to my beta 1.7 folder. Just a moment. Right here. Uh, in the Aether download right here, there's going to be, uh, by the way, you need to decompress each one of these files to be sure to see what it tells you. Because sometimes they have instructions in them. Um, like here's the jar. So to do this for, uh, I guess I'm not giving you enough information. To do this for uh, multi-MC, okay, you need to take this folder that's the jar and open it. And then select all of those then compress them make a new archive make a new zip archive because you're going to link that into your your instance see so i have either one jar mod i did that by creating a new archive of this of uh compressing all the things that were in this jar folder and that guy is right here okay and so you need to do that because you're going to patch the minecraft jar itself now with um with multi mc it's super easy a lot easier than it was in the past used to you would have to have a clean minecraft jar and then you would paste everything inside that jar and then you'd have to keep up with you know which jar you had in the launcher and all this kind of crazy stuff these days with multi mc all you're doing is side loading each one of these so it has a, a patching client in there and whatever you will add inside of here will automatically get added to the jar in the order that they're stacked here in the list. So that's super nice because if I just wanted to remove it, I could just click it out just like that. Just turn it off. I can leave it from the list or I could choose to remove to the list. So once again, to add an item to that, you choose add to Minecraft jar and then it'll open up and you'll be able to browse for the file that you want. You know, and in this case or whatever, we're going to use the, the Aether file. Okay, and so you just do it that way. And then the loader mods are the same way. You just choose add and you can add them. And then those actually go in the mods folder. Okay, that, that they'll it'll push to the mods folder. Okay, so anyway, that's how you make the, the zip that you need. And then go through each one of these archives that you download and open them up to be sure that you're seeing the class files. If you're seeing the class files, you can use that archive. If you're not, if you're seeing a folder inside of them that has the class files, then you need to make a new archive of that. You can't just make an archive of this folder. You can't just like right click it and choose make archive or whatever, because it doesn't need this beginning uh, folder in the structure. It needs to have the archives themselves. So you select everything inside of there and make an archive of that. Anyway, it has a resource folder here, and that resources is telling you it's going into the mod, okay, into the mod folder. So, uh, not the mods folder, but mod in resources. So, once again, let's look at that real quick. Go to your instance folder, and you'll see that inside of that Minecraft, they were, there will be a, uh, in the resources folder, uh, there's a mod folder right there. Okay, and so it's telling you to put it inside of there. See, I already have it inside of there. Uh, and then that'll give you the sounds for the Aether mod. Okay, and so you need to do that. And then, guys, you should be in good shape. Just hit launch, and you're ready to go. And as I said, it works great. So, shouldn't have any problems. Um, if you follow the instructions and you put things in the order that I say, now you could choose to play or not play with uh, single player commands. It's up to you. Uh, personally, I would rather uh, have the ability to fly through equivalent exchange, but 
you know that's just a thing can't get it to work yet so anyway as i said it, you get it you push tab hit fly and you're good to go so anyway that is, is the aether guys for minecraft one point oops lie There we go, in all of its beauty. So very cool, guys. Uh, by the way, just quickly, I do want to mention that you will get all of these errors along the side, and that's it's trying to pull down the sound files. Uh, that's just nothing you can do about it. You can see that the problem in there, there's looking for an, uh, a bucket on Amazon AWS, and it just can't find it because the permissions have been changed. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy that, guys. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, once you get it all set up and uh, super fun to play so anyway there's the the final list again of all the mods and luckily we have clean versions of them anyway this is scott omato guys thanks so much for watching have a great day bye bye